Hi everybody, Tom Alois here with the West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection's Youth Environmental Program. I'm happy to be here with you today. I'm going to be doing a short presentation called A Drop in the Bucket. It's from our friends at Project Wet Water Education Today. The idea behind the presentation is to get you thinking about just how precious water is to the 7 billion people on the planet. Speaking of the planet, I have good old Mother Earth right here in my hand. A couple quick water facts about Earth. Over 70% of Earth's surface is covered by water, which is why it's sometimes referred to as the blue planet. Also, most of our water is salt water contained in our oceans. Now, can we drink salt water? Well, there are some countries who are processing salt water, seawater, into drinking water. But it's expensive, it takes a lot of energy, and there are environmental drawbacks to that. For now, most of us still use fresh water as our drinking water source. But how much fresh water is there really on Earth, and how much of that is accessible to us? Let's find out. Put old Earth down for a second. Consider this all the water on the planet in this one container. Now we've already talked about most of our water being salt water in the oceans. So that figure is actually close to 97% of our water is in the oceans. So we'll reason that 3% of the water on our planet is fresh water. Where does our fresh water come from? Well, it comes from our rivers and lakes and streams. It's underground. And a lot of our fresh water is actually frozen, which is an important part because over 2% of our fresh water is actually frozen, unavailable to us. It's frozen in our polar ice caps and glaciers and in other forms. So that's frozen water will tuck away in our ice caps. That's unusable, unusable. So right here we have less than 1% of all the water on our planet. Less than 1%. Once you remove the water that's too polluted to use, or the water that's too far underground to use, to get to, you come up with this figure. 0.003%. So 0.003% of all the water on our planet is usable for drinking, for agriculture, for manufacturing, for energy production, for so many of the different ways that 7 billion people on the planet have to use it. So what's that 0.003% look like? Looks like pretty much a drop in the bucket. We can all play our part in protecting our precious water. There are things, simple things you can do. For example, don't litter. Trash in the environment gets blown into our waterways. It's carried there by storm drains, pollutes the water, ultimately ends up in the ocean. Also clean up after your pet. Pet waste is a source of water pollution as well. Just remember you can make a difference and I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.